day the Lord has made, we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. God bless. Love you. All right, here we go. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to come to worship and praise your holy name. Father, you said we're two or three God in your name. You've been the midst of them. We now invite and receive the presence of the Holy Spirit to lead us, guide us, anoint us to, to hear your word, Lord. Because we need to hear from you. We need to be guided by you. We need to be anointed by you. We need to be able to do your will. Father, we pray, every we pray Lord, for this country. We pray, Heavenly Father, in agreement with the body of Christ concerning this COVID-19. We declare that this peasant will be defeated in the name of Jesus because of the power and the agreement of saints all over this world, all over this country, all over this state, all over this, this city. Father, all over on the internet praying and saying, be, we want deliverance and we want, this, we want this thing to move out of our life. We pray in the Father for those who are fighting for their life right now. Yes, There's people, Lord, that are struggling, trying to breathe, trying to recover. We ask Heavenly Father, give them the strength, give them an anointing to come from you. Father, we pray for the, the first responders, the nurse, the staff. We pray, Heavenly Father, for the essential workers. We pray for the people out there that just have to work day to day. Actually, Lord, just to put a hedge of protection around them and anoint them to be able to return home safely. We pray for people to stay home if they can. And we pray, Heavenly Father, just to continue, just lift us all up in prayer. We pray for all the ministries out there. We ask Heavenly Father to give them the, the tools to be able to reach out to their members. And we pray, Lord, that your will be done in our life as we submit and hear from you. I thank you, Lord, for what you're about to do. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. Jesus name. Hey man, hey brother, one of the things I, you know, last week, I guess y'all heard some people passed away, they had church services, uh, there was, I guess they told me one guy in Virginia, you heard about him? Did y'all hear it? Uh, there was yeah, a, I think it's supposed to be in the paper. Yeah. Yeah. So some people... And then you got people actually going through some kind of um, protest. <laughs> they protest and go back. They protest and go back to work. <laughs> ridiculous. That 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 is totally ridiculous. Very much so. You know, I, I, it, I, I, it, uh, it it uh, goes against all reason. Exactly. Is where it goes. Um, it, it goes with politics and people putting their lives on the line for politics. Well, I, I know some some people uh, livelihood would work, and uh, uh, I know some people are having issues with just being in the home. You know, which blows my mind that their home isn't comfortable enough for them to just exist. Right. Uh, there's other people who, uh, I guess they, they, they can't pay their bills and their, their, uh, their anxieties of, of knowing when their next paycheck is coming in, right. you know, supersedes their logic. And, uh, and then there's some folks who, you know, are having problems getting, uh, food. Yeah. Uh, so you know they they are uh, doing with that, but I know there's the the my faith is in God's word where He says He will supply all my needs, all our needs, Amen. According to His riches and glory in heaven, and also if He'll feed these birds that are flying around and chirping in the morning like ain't <laughs> one bit of a worry in the world, yeah, you know then He'll He'll feed me. Amen. Um, and I, I just thank God for that peace of mind that surpasses all understanding during this time, and uh, the the boldness that I have to uh, to have joy. Yes, sir. And peace, and peace during these times. Um, my prayer is just for for family and. Uh, and their well-being, because I, 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 my, my joy is in the Lord. So Come I, on now. no turn here. Come on, that's the truth. 
That's true. As a matter of fact, one of the things uh, I think this this week, uh, and God was leading me today, was to to let us learn how to hear from God. You know what I mean? Learn how to hear and, and, and to listen to Him uh, to to keep going. So I put these scriptures up if y'all can look and see. Uh, this Revelation chapter two. I read. You know, in, in Book of Revelation, it said uh, at least seven times. For the Spirit, hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches, right? And I think when we're going through our different challenges, and even on a daily basis, period, we always want to be able to hear from God. And I think we want to talk about how do we hear from God, and that's what I'm going to focus on, and how to hear from God. So, Revelation mm -hmm. Revelation 2, 7 shows you important. It says, He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the tree of life. We know that life, that tree was back in, God, in Genesis. There's, we know where it's at now. Which is in the midst of the paradise of God. Amen? Amen. <laughs> it says in, in Revelation 2.11, He that has an ear, that we're talking about that, that here, and there's, I guess we're talking about that spiritual ear, not with the elder. We ain't talking about a physical ear, we're talking about a spiritual ear. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches. He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. We ain't got to worry about dying after. You only die once physically, but you don't die spiritually anymore because you're born again. Then Revelation 2.17, He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches. To him that overcometh, I will give to eat of the hidden manna. Come on now. And we'll give him a white stone. Brother Asin, you got a new name on it. You got a stone with your name on it. Yeah. A stone, a new stone written, which no man knoweth, save as he that receiveth it. Now, don't throw that rock at nobody now, but I'm just saying. Knucklehead. <laughs> Come on. And <laughs> hey, hey, look at it and say, I don't want this one. <laughs> But God is good anyway, all the time, right? Amen. Especially right now. But but the main thing about it is in the last three is saying the same thing. He that has an ear, <clears throat> hear what the Spirit is saying unto the churches. And and I see four churches in front of me right now. I see I see the church of Basson. I see the church of Jackson and the church of Elder Johnson and the church of Addison. Amen. It's, 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 it's where he's talking to all of us because we know the builder's not the church. We are the church, right? Amen. Amen. So, so, so God is saying, let you, let you, we got to be able to hear what the Spirit is saying. And Elder, I think we talked about before is that the, the Spirit is always trans, the Holy Spirit is always transmitting, He's always sending out communication. He's always connecting all of us together as one. And all we need to do is be able to tap into what, what the Spirit is saying. So what I want to do, because I think one of the things we're talking about is teaching, is they have to say, have the people know how to listen to God. Right? Now, so so Brother Addison, can you see that those slides real good? Can I do what? Can you read? Can you see those slides? Can you see the slides? Don't worry about it. If that's too close, I, I, I'll read I just want to know. No, Anybody I, can, can... I can see them. You... I just had to switch you... the page over. Do you want to... This is uh, Miriam and Aaron or Post Most. Yes, sir. Would you Would you like to? So, so that's... here's the reason why I want to read this one. Is Chris, you know, we have people sending people to church in the midst of this virus. We have people who died to include pastors because they want to ignore the warnings, right? And, and, and the thing about it is they got people going to church, not making sure that they heard from God themselves to go. You know what I mean? In other words, if you're going you to go to church, you should be led to go to church. Right? Amen. Because you are the church. So the only thing you're trying to be, see if you're led to go, 
is to go to a four wall building. Right? So 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 I want to make sure everybody understands. Sometimes we all gotta be able to understand we gotta hear from God. Because he's always communicating. So, Brother Addison, you can go ahead and, and, and give us this read up and you can comment if you want. Because Elder Johnson is going to interrupt you just in case you don't comment on something. <laughs> no, no. Okay. okay, Numbers 12 and 1. Yes, sir. And Miriam and Aaron spake against Moses because of the Ethiopian and whom he had married. Now that, 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 that's, had, that's a sister, ain't it? <laughs> yeah, that, that, that definitely is a sister. <laughs> I don't even know if I don't even know. I, I don't think I've ever seen a Caucasian Ethiopian. I, I think so. I, I I'm pretty you sure know. you haven't. I'm not saying they don't exist, but <laughs> I've never seen one. I'm pretty, anyway, I'm pretty sure back there. Read that again. Okay. Him and Aaron spake against Moses because of the Ethiopian woman whom he had married. For he had married an Ethiopian woman. Man, they repeated that. Uh, yeah, because they and tried they to said, tell you there was some people had some issues about cross, you know, bearing different different culture, right? Yeah. They, they were the Jewish people was a married Jewish within the Jewish tribes. And they said, Lord indeed spoken unto only to only by Moses. I, have not spoken also by us, and the Lord heard us. Now they they ask that's a, they, they, look, look before you keep going slow down a little bit, but that that's a question, right? And then yes. the, then now we saying is that the Lord heard you talking. <laughs> he heard you because they're asking the question, right? That has has not God spoken to us, to us also? <laughs> yeah. And, and God said, "Oh, I heard you." <laughs> I got something to say about that, but go ahead, keep going. Now the man Moses was very meek above all the men which were upon the face of the earth. And the Lord spake suddenly unto Moses, and unto Aaron, and unto Miriam, Come out ye there unto the tabernacle of the congregation. And they three came out. And the Lord came down in a pillar of the cloud and stood in the door of the tabernacle and called Aaron and Miriam. And they both came forth. And he said, hear now my words. Yes, sir. If there be a prophet among you. Come on now. I, the Lord, will make myself known unto him in a vision. Yes, sir. And will speak unto him. In a dream. Now, so now the reason I wanted Elder to, to put that down there, and, and Chris, we're talking about to hear from God, right? God is trying to tell us, this is how I communicate with you. All right. And 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 visions can occur when, Elder. When can you get a vision? Um, you can get a vision by you, just like daydreaming. Or you can get a dream while you're asleep, so you can be awake and get a vision. Right, basically any time you can have a vision, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and, any time. And, and, and you think about vision, words, words themselves bring vision, don't they? Like, like if I say, yeah, if I, I say, say a conversation to bring vision. Come on, brother. Mm -hmm. Come on, because you know, like if I said apple, everybody yeah. immediately came up with an image of an apple. Mm -hmm. And everybody probably got a different image of an apple. See, I, I'm thinking about a green apple right now. Then I just switched to a red one in my brain. What I'm saying is that words create vision as well. Words yeah, create pictures. pictures. Words create images. And 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 so so God is talking to you, but you you know you hear from Him because you also. Visualize. You give some type of vision. Chris is what I'm saying. You know, like if 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 God say I want you to go talk to that person, brother Addison. That, that brother, that's a vision, isn't it? That's more of a. He's telling you who to go talk to. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and that's how we need to get people to understand when God is talking to you, He is creating a vision. 
He is creating an image. He's giving you a picture of what he wants you to do. Is what I'm saying. So people need to understand that. They need to learn how to hear from God. So that they, if they're not hearing from God, especially when somebody else tells them to do something else, they need to go back and say, well, I, I appreciate what God is talking to you about, but I, I didn't hear that. You know, something just dropped in my spirit, and it, it's, it's kind of awesome. It's like God sees the ending, beginning. When you speak, when you speak, you see the end. Come on now, out. come on, come on. Wait, it's like God, you yes, see sir. the finished work. Yes, sir. Before it begins. Come on, brother. Ain't that something? Yes, sir. Because if you look at it, one scripture say speak the ending from the beginning. Yeah. There's the other one. You go back to Genesis itself and say God said, God saw, God said, God saw. Yeah. Right. So when God is talking to you, just prepare to understand he's getting visualizing to you what he's trying to get you to do. Now, one of the things to understand is you got to make sure that what you're receiving is coming from God. And yes. Because 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 you are ain't, God ain't the only one trying to talk to your vision and dreams. <laughs> Amen. Uh-uh. <laughs> hey, can I chime in? Now? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is what, this what I'm, I'm thinking of, 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 of what's going on and everything. With all this stuff right here, this is a new paradigm shift for the whole freaking world. Now you preach. Yep. Now, the paradigm shift that changed the world the last time, or oh, the big paradigm shift, Jesus came the first time. Yeah. Like I said, it's still Bob and saying, like we were talking about the last time I talked to y'all, this ain't about the big, big church no more. Come on. It ain't about, like you said, you got to hear him for yourself now. You do. Because Amen. there's too much noise going on in society right now. Right. Too much noise. And this is that paradigm. Go get him for yourself. Don't depend on these big churches jokers that want you to give your stimulus check to them and all this other stuff get him for yourself now get him for yourself right because yeah. and you and know like and the thing about it, what you, think, yeah. you gotta learn to listen to the right thing or try to find the right thing to listen to that's what this is about now exactly that and that, that's why I it's, gonna get, it's gonna get a whole lot worse before it gets better with all these jokers running around grabbing guns, doing all this, this thing finna take a hard right, and it ain't gonna be pretty, buddy. Right. Well, I mean, you know, think about it. See, the some of our culture has been so wrapped up in politics that they're, 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 they're hearing. I mean, you you see it in the news where people can try to rewrite history, try try to. They say something, you know they said it, it's recorded they said it, but they're, they're sitting right in front of your face. <laughs> yeah. And say, I didn't say it. Like you just said, you need the sound bite for when you go back and rewrite history. Right. So you can so you can edit that clip back in. Yeah. That's what they're doing. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, so that's why it's important, like you said, though, it's a paradigm shift of people being able to be led by God. Because, you know, there's one scripture coming out of the word said, He who is led by the Spirit of God are called the children of God. Yes, God. Yes. Right? Yeah. So, yeah. so all ministries are supposed to teach people, point to people to hear from God. Because it's a personal relationship. Because, look, most of us go through different challenges, right? I mean, if, if, right. if, if COVID-19 hit you, it, it doesn't matter about what what going on in the church building it, it doesn't really matter about what's going on anybody else right then it's, it's, it's hitting you it's a it's a personal thing on you and and you have to receive you have to receive the healing you have to receive the vision of being healed 
You have to be able to confess that and hold on to it. You have to. You you don't need to talk to a man. You don't need to talk to a woman. I'm not saying you don't want to talk to them, but I want you to be able to say, God has said, I'm right here. <laughs> you know, Brother Jackson, Amen. I'm right here. Amen. I, he said, I'll right. never leave you nor forsake you. I'm right here. You don't right. need to run to somebody else. Because I know that this battle, because each of you, you know you've been sick before. That battle right. ain't no game. Is it? That's right. Man, you, 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 you got to be able to, got to get a pull for yourself because the devil's talking to you, people talking to you, people words trying to kill you. Uh, you, 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 you got to keep going. That's what I'm saying. Go ahead, Brother Addison. There's the uh, next one. Verse 7. Okay. Verse 7. My servant Moses is not so. So he's who unique. is faithful in all my thoughts. All right, now, okay. <laughs> With him will I speak mouth to mouth, ah. even apparently and not in dark. Come speeches. on now. <laughs> and the similitude of the Lord shall be shall he behold. Mm -hmm. Wherefore then <clears throat> were you not afraid to speak against my servant Moses? Now, now let me ask you something on that. Uh, maybe the other Johnson. What what did they say? What did they say was 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 uh? They, what was wrong with what they said? I, I just want to. What they said was. Huh? What they what they said at that time was that Moses was the only person that God was talking to. He could talk. He talked to them too. Uh huh. And so what God does in this particular thing. He said he spoke to his prophets and visions and so forth, but Moses he spoke to mouth to mouth. <laughs> so it was like it was like Moses in that time frame had a very special place in, in in the scheme of God. Right. He didn't deal with other people. He dealt with Moses face to face. Other people he gave visions and dreams and stuff. But his sister had fronted him. Him and his, they had fronted him because he had married the Ethiopian, and so they were basically saying, you ain't the only person that can hear from God. Yeah. Now, that would be, I think that would be more true in our dispensation, because Christ died that we would have that one-on-one -on -one with God. Right. So, whereas God was only speaking to Moses face-to-face, -face, now we have access to the throne of grace, just like Moses would have had in, in the Old Testament. There's no mediator now between us and, and God. Come on. Except the Lord Jesus Christ himself. Right. And so what you said earlier makes perfectly good sense for us in the sense that we don't have to be in each other's face interpreting for each other. Come on. We have the interpreter actually living inside of each other, of yes. each one of us. Right, right. And the thing about it is the what what I guess what they did do wrong was the fact that they spoke uh, against him because of what he did. Right? He he, spoke, he he married that he married that beautiful black woman. And, and 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 not to say he wasn't black, but I'm just saying is he married a beautiful black woman from Ethiopia, and they felt that was what they're speaking against. Oh yeah, come on now. I mean, they, 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 yeah, they 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 were prompted by that to say that Moses wasn't the only person that God spoke to. He they were angry because of the thing that he had done. Right. But uh. Yes, and that's why I think that they, that's how they got in trouble. Not because I can't even say not, not, not because, because the fact is that God don't talk to them. <laughs> but God is saying that yeah, if I, you're a prophet, I talk to you. Now I talk to you a little yeah. different, Chris, than, than I talk to Moses. But I do talk to you. You 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 are absolutely right. I talk to you in a vision. I talk to you in a dream. I talk to you. So you 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 on mm -hmm. you on target on that. But you, you got to, when you speak against somebody who not only do I talk to in dreams and vision, here's somebody I talk to mouth to mouth. Yeah. Here's somebody, I mean, you shouldn't be spoke, speaking against him because of what his decisions are. Especially on a person, mm -hmm. matter of fact, that's a personal decision he's made. Right? Mm -hmm. that, that's mm -hmm. not, it's like, what's your problem? <laughs> What you mean? I can't marry this woman. I can't have this car. I can't have this house. I can't have this career. Huh? That's what they're talking about, Elder. Is that his decision? So they're saying this. See, he made a bad decision for their concern, and they said God can talk to us, and we really don't need you. Yeah, that's what they're basically. <laughs> 
understand. You know, they were basically saying, we don't need to hear from you. <laughs> Which at that time, wasn't, it wasn't true. Come on. When Moses, when, at that dispensation, this is Old Testament, during that dispensation, God did speak through the prophets. He spoke through the, the priest. Right. So he wasn't, it wasn't like he was, he was, uh, you know, just on a regular talking to the people themselves. He spoke through the priesthood, and through the priesthood, in this case, through Moses. <laughs> Moses is them was God. <laughs> Moses, God was using him he, as his as his right hand man. Yep, he was he was the the, the manifest the image of the visible God at that time. Yeah, so that, I think that's a yep. big difference there. Uh, go ahead, brother Addison. Where you at, brother? Where you at? <laughs> Um, verse eight. Verse eight. Well, I mean, you can keep you, you. You. I don't know if you finished reading it or not. Did you say? Yeah, I, I, were you not I, afraid uh, to speak against? Uh, that what you said against Servant Moses? I. I, I was basically. Let me just start uh, yeah. eight again. Yeah. Well, I speak mouth to mouth, even apparently and not in dark speeches. In the similitude of the Lord shall he, shall he behold. Wherefore, then were ye not afraid to speak against my servant Moses? And the anger of the Lord was kindled against them, and he departed. Now that, that's kind of, hey, 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 don't, you slow down a little bit. You can talk a little bit if you want. <laughs> okay. Hey, let's talk about the fact is, Elder, God left. <laughs> he departed. He 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 made his statement and he left. Mm -hmm. And it almost sound like it's like I, I don't have I don't say what I had to say. But he didn't pronounce judgment. At least in that he did. He just said I I I, I told you why won't y'all afraid? I guess he was saying it, brother Isaac. Why won't you afraid? Because you know. You, you you spoke against one of my servants. Why weren't you afraid? And then he said, okay, well, I guess you're going to find out why you should have been afraid. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And that's what it sounds like to me. Because it said, I, I always caught that saying, and the anger of the Lord was kindled against them, so therefore he departed. So he was angry with them. Now, verse 10. And the cloud departed from off the tabernacle, and behold, Miriam became leprous, <laughs> white as snow. And Aaron looked upon Miriam, and behold, she was leprous. Woo! Amen. Woo! Wow. Now that's interesting about being white as snow. <laughs> I guess yeah. back, I guess back in those days, that wasn't a good thing. <laughs> Yeah, she turned her white. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, because there are people out there that's, 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 that's almost white as snow. <laughs> but, but, that is funny. That's, she, I'm just she, saying. They were, they were upset about Moses marrying this black woman, so he turned her white. That's almost comical. That, that, that would have sounded to me, Chris. What'd you think, Chris? I said that is almost well, comical. That is that's funny. If you got a problem? Yeah. You, know, you got a problem with this, this beautiful black woman. Let me let me I'm gonna fix this for you right now. But the the, the thing that got me is God presence was before them uh -huh. when he pronounced judgment. Yes, sir. When he departed, he became white as snow. Yeah. Just like yep. the judgment seat. Woo! And he separates them and they go into the pit of fire. Wow. When they're the 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 result of judgment comes when God's presence departs mm. when he separates. Wow. You know, that's interesting because it kind of fits with what's going on now. You know, it, it's just, a lot of people say, well, did God send this thing upon us? Is he is he the one that's causing it? No, he's just the one that's allowing it. I think this is kind of indicative of that. It wasn't, it didn't come upon him while she was, he was there with him. No. He actually was <laughs> and then the, this, then, then, the, then the, uh, the leprosy comes upon him. 
Yes. So is it that because we have taken God out of everything <laughs> in the United States of America? And I mean, that's, that's all people. That's not just, you know, that's not just confined to just a particular ethnic group right. or racial group. Right. Across the board, we have turned our backs on God. I am personally surprised at the level of decadence that we are sank to as a race of people in the United States of America. I, I was surprised when I listened to the cars with the doors open and they doing the MF and the B and all of that flying out of <laughs> through the music, turned up as loud as they can turn it. It's, it's, it, it kind of disturbs me a little bit when our young ladies are flouncing their butts in there and twerking all over the place. That's kind of annoying. Deep. But I think it. it it fits in the fact that it said all have sin and come short of glory of God. It wasn't civil rights that was the issue. We have our civil rights and we have found proven ourselves to be as decadent and moral as anybody else. Yeah. But as a nation across the world, as Democrats, as Republicans, as blacks, as whites, as Asians, as whatever, we have turned our back as a whole on the Lord. Mm -hmm. And the church is all glorying after other gods. Yeah. We have got captivated by money. We are serving mammon and a lot of our interest right now is because we can't draw the people into the congregation to to, to fleet them we can't fleet the flock because they ain't available to us anymore yeah so the united states as a whole has moved away from the foundations and i believe it was foundational for us even though god all complied but the knowledge of god was there and acknowledged exactly but I now we have turned from him and we don't really want to think about him anymore it's because they did not wish me to in their memory. So we are almost like a parable to the rest of the nations. We are the greatest nation on the planet. We had the most resources. We were stronger politically, economically, and, and militarily. But nonetheless, we are looking bad in reference to how other nations are surviving the attack from the coronavirus. Come on. Why? So we put our trust in our horses and our chariots and in our economy. And now our economy has failed. Uh, as well as our horses and chariots, all our gods have been defaced and pulled down. We, we don't have the god of sports anymore. He's dead. The god of entertainment, they're going out of the way. Yeah. We are a nation put on this hill because we have turned against God. It wasn't that God turned against us. He just, he just like, the same thing. I really feel like he just departed. He said, okay, y'all don't want me in? I'm out. <laughs> right. In other words, 